Why I think that's so important is because if I get just one point of the hook in the fish's mouth, when that hook rotates, I have a straighter line, an easier line of penetration with an EWG than a round bend. With a round bend hook, if you get one point in, it tends to ride to the side and scratch. It doesn't penetrate nearly as easily as will this style of hook. So I choose to replace them. I've landed more fish, I feel, because I use this style of hook, and I choose to replace them. Now, you can use a, a split ring pliers to, to replace the, the trebles, but I, here's, one of the, here's one of the important points of it. I use the lighter wire hook, and that does a couple of things for me. Number one, it makes very easy penetration, which is important to me, but they do suffer uh, damage on rocks. A uh, big fish in the net will bend the hooks, so I replace them often. I'm checking my hook points often. I'm I, I carry an abundance of hooks in the boat so that I can replace them at a moment's notice, especially like, you know, we just came from a big smallmouth tournament. When they're biting a jerk bait, they get in the boat and they're thrashing a four pounder, he will mangle those hooks. You've got to bend them back, check all the hook points or replace them. So how I replace them is I typically like to use just my fingers and I get my fingernail from my forefinger uh, about an eighth of an inch in from the line split and I pull on the hook and that opens up the split ring just like that. That's simple. Now my hook is inside the split ring and I'm ready to go. I can take my EWG and I put it in that split and then I rotate. I pinch with my fingers to hold it steady and I use the, e the EWG style to push that hook point around and boom, that quick. Took me about what five seconds to do that oh uh, a split ring plier takes me a little longer and i'll use that if the split rings are extremely heavy duty like sometimes i like to use the salt water baits or baits that have really heavy duty uh split rings uh glide baits baits that are uh, designed to hold big hooks and big fish um, but on most of your crank baits and your top orders it's really easy to do and um you know so i use my forefinger I get it in the, the, I split the ring. I use the leverage of my left hand to pull that ring open. And now I have my hook inside the split ring and I'm ready to change. And I'm gonna use this one because I have two different hooks out here and I wanna talk about them both. But this is, uh, these are number sixes that I'm replacing number sixes with on this particular crankbait. Now, a lot of times, you know, guys want to put the biggest hook they can on the bait, and there goes the, the round bend. He's out in with the new hook. But a lot of times, the smaller hooks on these small crankbaits are better. Um, the fish can't leverage them as easily, and they're thin diameter, and they really hold a lot better. So experiment with that. Try oversized hooks, try undersized hooks to see what's giving you the better strike to catch ratio. But these are two number sixes on a DT6. That's easy to remember, right? And what I, here's my test on whether I've got it right. If these hooks foul together in any way, I wanna make an adjustment because the last thing I want is as this boat's, bait's rotating through the cast, to have these two treble hooks foul each other. If that happens, it's it's almost 100% you're gonna lose that fish if you get the bite. Plus, when that happens, your bait's not gonna run true and it's gonna act funny in the water. So it's there's nothing good about that. I wanna make sure that my trebles do not snag each other. When I'm in a situation where um, two sixes or two fours do snag each other, or if I wanna try to upsize to a bigger hook, uh, for a particular reason, there, it's awesome the adjustments that we have to us. There's short shank uh, trebles available in all sizes and styles. There's in-between sizes. These are number sixes 
number four is real common. There's number five trebles that you can get out there, which offer a, you know, a little bit smaller hook and a little bit smaller shaft. So you can, I suggest getting bulk packs of all those so that when you're working on your crankbaits, you're sitting around, you can experiment, see which hooks match up for any particular bait. Cause this is different from a wiggle wart which is different from a DT-10. They're all going to offer you a different spacing for the line ties and require a different hook on. 